Hey, it's DJ Shelly. Today I'm at 95.7 Ben FM, getting ready to go on air for Kathy Romano's Her Story. Hi, Shelly. Hey, Kathy. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't wait to be on the show. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, sit down. So uh, we can, uh, let's get started. Welcome to Her Story. I'm your host, Kathy Romano. My next guest is a female DJ who gained notoriety after her work with Betsy Johnson and David Tutera. She travels nationwide for events wearing her signature exotic angel wings and bright red headphones. Michelle Lee, also known as DJ Shelley, currently DJs events for MGM National Harbor, Philly Magazine, Philly Style Magazine, Bare Minerals NYC, and the Philadelphia Flyers. DJ Shelley, welcome to Her Story. Thank you so much for having me, Kathy. I'm so excited to be uh, here. So what what is your connection to Betsy Johnson and David Chutera? So about a couple of years ago when I decided to go full time, I was just really into making sure my website was top notch, that I was doing all the keywords, you know, to help people find you. And, and one of the biggest things I decided to do was really push myself as a female DJ because I knew that was something that made me different and made me stand out. But when I got over that and I realized, oh wait, no, this makes me different. This is how I can really sell myself. So I started just really pushing female DJ, female DJ, you know, started doing different things like wearing the red headphones to kind of make anything to make me stand out and be different. And Betsy Johnson's people found me on the internet and she was coming to King of Prussia to do um, to a launch of a new clothing line. And they had looked at a, like tried to find a guest female DJ and they found me and they were like, oh my gosh, Betsy Johnson thinks you're perfect. Will you come DJ her event at King of Prussia Mall? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> oh, let me think about it for a second. Okay. So it was so fun. And she is just, she's so super fun and amazing. Like you could, as soon as you meet her, you just see why she has so many followers. So it was like so awesome. And then David Tutera, the first year, uh, uh, I had a design company, JDK and Atomic Designs a production design company and caterer who wanted something different for their booth area at David Tutera. And they were like, hey, we know that female DJ, let's see if she'd be interested. It'd be something like cool and different we could spin on the event. So they had me and then the next year, the David Tutera team actually asked me to come back and be a part of their fashion show through my agency, which I now work with East Coast Entertainment, put all of their entertainment together. So it just ended up coming together and was just really pretty awesome that I was asked that the, the, both years I was the only DJ there. That's right. Just um, you've traveled to different parts of the country to do events. Tell me about some of the yes. events. Well, after I decided to go full time, I really was just doing everything I could to get my name out there, network, work on my website. And you know, when I would decide to go full time, I was scared to death like to leave my corporate job, to leave any other source of income and just pursue my business. But after two years, um, I started just attracting like a lot of clients, whether they were looking for a female DJ or they were just looking for someone who was fun and upbeat and like a, a skilled MC. So I ended up finding a company. To, I started working with them. I DJed an event for them in New York. It was like a football themed event. Uh, they're called CTC events. And after I did that event with them, they just loved me. And they were in Puerto Rico and randomly called me on a Wednesday and said, Shelly, we don't like this DJ down here. <laughs> like, it's just not our style for what we're going for. Um, can, can we please down? have you come down here, well, you know, whatever it takes. So it was February in Philadelphia. And I'm like, again, twist my arm to come to Puerto Rico in, you know, in February. So I got to DJ on a private island. It's called Palomino Island. We literally had to take my, my assistant, Nathan Abarda, and I had to literally take a ferry across from the resort to the private island to like do our DJ thing. Wow. So that was really cool. So that was a big part of the start of it. I'd already been traveling to DC and New York a lot because my agency that I work with, they also have offices in DC. So I'm actually sometimes in DC more than I'm in Philly. And then from there, um, I have another show, um, possibly booking. I just talked to them this morning. Uh, one of my clients that want to bring me out to Las Vegas and Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, so I kind of go all over. I've been to North Carolina and Texas, which was pretty awesome. I had a private client fly me out to Texas for an event in Dallas, so that was awesome. <laughs> and and then um, in next month, or in July, actually, I'm going to be DJing in LA. So, What was the office job that you left? 
So funny, so I was in the, I worked in financial institutions. So I worked for Merrill Lynch for a number of years and then I, I worked in pharmaceutical. So I always say that like, I wish I would have gone full time sooner, but I guess everything really does happen for a reason because I gained so much knowledge about marketing and about how to run a business. Like I do have my degree in business management, but I feel like there really is nothing like hands-on right. experience. So, working for and what type of events do you do? I do all kinds of events, really, since I do this full time. I do social, I do after parties, um, I do a number of public events a year, like MGM uh, National Harbor hires me through my agency to do a lot of their public events. And I do a lot of weddings, corporate. It's pretty much just a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, and can you explain, let's go into your look and kind of your, okay. your, your signature look. First, explain the wings. So the wings are so much fun and guests just love them. And I really had no idea how big they were going to become. <laughs> I think they're bigger than me now. So I DJed an event for my agency, um, East Coast Entertainment. Um, one of my agents down there, Jennifer Langer, was uh, contacted me and said, hey, we have this super cool event that we're, we're putting together. It's a heaven, hell, and purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> purgatory event and we would like you to be in purgatory so I was like well wait a minute if anyone's putting me in purgatory I am rocking this you know this floor out because it was three floors that's why they did that so I decided to get uh, I was like you know I'm gonna wear wings so cool like with the whole theme so I got these gigantic black wings and they just looked awesome and people were just coming in like wow and I think I just saw the guest reaction so much that like they just loved it I was like I wonder if I could just start wearing these all the time <laughs> So I did, not for every event, it depends, like what the client's looking for, but I started pushing that as this is just another thing that can make me stand out and be different. Um, and then I just love, I love like the whole theatrical part about it. You know, like I love acting and drama. So I think I just, any costume or thing that I can put on to make an event fun, I'm just all about. So I started wearing the wings and all of a sudden I just started getting jobs. People contacted me because they wanted me to wear the wings to their DJ job. I even have weddings now, which I wings? never <laughs> thought that they were going to take off for the weddings. I really was just trying to use them for more corporate or my public events. I know the brides are like, no, we want you to wear the wings. <laughs> like, okay. You just did a wedding this weekend. Did you wear the wings? Yes. The two weddings I just DJed, I wore the wings. But now you said they were black wings. The picture I saw, they were white wings. So I do coordinate my <laughs> wings <Okay. laughs> with the event. For example, two weeks or was two weeks ago, I had um, a wedding where it was kind of like rainbow theme. So I made rainbow wings. Oh, wow. Okay. And so you then, have a whole bunch. Right. And then this, the wedding that I DJed for Victoria, uh, she had fuchsia. So it was, we had, I had my pink fuchsia wings. Okay. Very nice. And then what about the red headphones? So the red headphones were probably one of the best marketing ideas I came up with. I actually kind of got the idea off of another like YouTuber marketer that red is just a very bright color and stands out. So, you know, people see it. So I noticed when I started going to networking events, when I was trying to build my business and get my name out there, that I would just meet a ton of people and I could hardly ever remember, okay, what's their name, let alone what they did or who they worked for. Cause it's just like, it's a lot to remember so I thought well gosh that's probably happening to me so I'm just gonna start wearing these red headphones and I didn't even care I just started wearing them everywhere so networking events and it was kind of funny because not everyone took them New very yeah, yeah, yeah some people were kind of like who is this weirdo and why is she wearing these bright red headphones but I tried to just not focus on those people I focused on the people who would come up and be like, that is such a great idea. Or, oh my gosh, you're a DJ. And I was like, yeah, so it would open up conversations. And then it was just probably one of the biggest things. So any social media, anytime I was anywhere, I would only post a picture with the red headphones so that people would kind of associate that with my DJ brand. What type of events do you like doing best? Is there a certain, is there a wedding? Is it oh a wedding? Gosh. Is it another event? I honestly probably couldn't say that. I just know that I am the happiest when I'm DJing. So it probably doesn't really matter what type of event. They're just all different for different reasons. I think that's why I love that I do do this full time. So I'm never really doing just one type of event. So it kind of just keeps everything like fresh and new. And I just, I love music. So anytime I'm able to play and people are dancing and having a good time just is what, awesome. Was your love of music what originally got you into DJing? 
when you were yes. 16 back with the other DJ? Honestly, I just love the dance so much. Like my mom and my sisters and I would grow up having like kitchen dance parties all the time. Like we just love, like I have a very big influence of music from my parents because they, they're both very different with their music like. So I got kind of a little bit of everything, which ended up being really awesome for me that to be, you know, introduced to so many different music genres. And, you know, I just love to dance. And I think when that DJ hired me, and I was the dancer party pumper. I just loved it so much. And then I, I was thinking, well, you know, I guess maybe I can dance and DJ at the same time and get paid for it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. If, you, if a female wants to get into the industry, what would you tell them? I think just not being intimidated. I think one of the biggest things, and not just for females, but for pretty much any beginner DJ, is when you look at the DJ controller, it looks like you're flying an airplane. It's like, it looks like your, your system over here, your mixer system. It looks intimidating. So it's very intimidating. I was very intimidated when I started out, but my, and I did a YouTube video on this. What, what my guy was helping me with says, look, just start with the basics. He's like, there is a function for everything here, but let's just start with what you need. And then as you, you know, start to get better and learn more, you'll, you'll know eventually what all of this does. So um, that's actually one of my biggest YouTube uh, videos that I have on my channel. But I think females just not getting, I think some females are, the equipment is very heavy. They, they've been making equipment lighter and lighter throughout the years, thank goodness. Because when I first started out, there were certain equipment I couldn't buy because I just couldn't carry it. So do you carry all your equipment into your events? For the most part. And I think just because I started doing that, and I, I'm very into sound and my equipment, I just love it all. So I actually am part of my sound crew when we go to do events. Is that why you look so good? Because you're carrying all that heavy <laughs> equipment? Ask me that. And that's exactly what I say. I was like, you try looking around hundreds of pounds of equipment every weekend or even during the week, you know. <laughs> that's yeah. where you got those arms. And that's honestly <laughs> another reason why I do it because it does help keeping me in shape because during those days where I'm working 15 hour days or more, I can't go to the gym. So I think it definitely helps keep me, you know, in shape and younger and so when you do go to the gym, what are you doing? Do you like yoga? Do you do Pilates, any of that stuff? I love Zumba because I love it. I've done Spartan races. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so you're really into the extreme. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like anything just fun and different. Like I'm just, my, my entire family, we've all just been athletic. I think we get a lot of that from my mom. Um, she always just had us in sports and doing different things, so. Tell me about your YouTube channel. Okay, so that's another thing that just kind of, it's its like, I think, you know, takeaways for people who are listening today is just that, just try something, because you just never know, like, how it's going to turn out. So my friend and I, um, I started doing, doing my DJ thing full time, and I was just kind of talking to another, I guess, colleague or a marketer YouTuber who just suggested, like, okay, you're, you're doing, you're showing pictures of your events, but you're not really bringing... I guess good quality content to your videos and you're you are so good at what you do you need to start teaching other people or that this this could be another way to help you grow your business so I was like okay that's a kind of a good idea and I always love training I did training with Merrill Lynch and I was like you know what I think that's something I could do so I got together with a friend of mine uh, Bertos with Bert's Eye View give him a little plug and he you know I said I, I reached out on Facebook and said you know what I just had this idea about starting this YouTube channel would anybody be interested in helping me video and right away he called me and he was a friend of mine that we used to work together like 10 years ago and just ended up out of the blue we connected on Facebook started the channel with one of the most simplest videos ever I was just something that I didn't know so I was like, well, if I'm going to do this video, like, what do I do it on? And, and then it was a, um, the difference between passive and active speakers. And it was just something that I didn't know and I thought could be valuable to other people. And it just got over, I think it almost has 200,000 views now. So it's not strictly about DJ? No. So I do a little bit of everything because I'm kind of like the... I, I, there's kind of three different focuses. So one <laughs> is giving DJ tips and advice to beginner DJs or even DJs who have been in the market for a long time and want to know how to grow their business. But also, even though since that's targeted towards DJs, any business owner really could have takeaways. Um, you know, I'm pretty active on social media, so I have a lot of tips on how to grow your business social media wise. So I have that part of it. And then I also love to bring people along on my events because, you know, I go to Puerto Rico or I go to Dallas. And a lot of the events I do are super high end and they have all kinds of crazy entertainment going on. So I think it's so fun for people to kind of like see like what goes on in DJ life. Like sometimes I'll go behind the scenes and I'll take you to like my dressing room. I recently for MGM, 
Um, I did some pretty big events. Actually, I'm not, I don't even think I'm allowed to say who I did it for, <laughs> but there was a big event in the theater that I got to play on where Britney Spears plays and, you know, Beyonce plays, or not Beyonce, uh, Cher and Bruno Mars. And I got to be on that stage and I take you behind in like my dressing room oh, cool. and just like how cool it is, you know, just to experience like all that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so much fun. Uh, well, is there, is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? I think just that, you know, I know there's a lot of females out there that not even just if they're interested in music, which I would strongly like try to encourage other females because I feel to myself, I can't be one of the only ones that loves music or that would be into doing this. I think a lot of people pointed out to me, well, Shelly, I think the problem is there aren't a lot of other female DJs to look up to. Um, as much as many as there are men, there's definitely female DJs out there, but I think you know, just trying to be an inspiration to women, not only who are into music and would maybe want to be a DJ, contact me, but also um, women business owners who maybe be scared to take that step of, you know, they know they're passionate about something and they really love something and they want to do it. I think sometimes you just need that person. Like I'm telling you firsthand, I'm so glad that I took the jump and you know, it's probably, it's been seriously life-changing and the difference between loving what you do every single day as opposed to just going to a job is just amazing. It was really nice speaking with you. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Yeah, thank you. If you'd like to hire DJ Shelly or find out more about her, what is your social media website YouTube channel? Give it to us all. So it's all sounds by Shelly. So that's my website, Facebook, YouTube, everything. I um, just wanted to give a shout out to my amazing manager, Brittany Mondrinos, who I just recently brought on uh, the team. So I'm so excited about that. But uh, you can contact us. And then basically once you contact um, our social media sites, um, we have a booking agency. Okay, and but, they'll go through there. But, yeah, but, but everything can go by sounds by Shelly first and then I kind of meet and talk with the client and find out a little bit more about their event and then we kind of just take it from there. Shelly, thank you so much for coming by. Good, thank you. Bye.